Hi everybody, this is just going to be a quick little tutorial on how to install Ponyscape on Windows. Uh, I know a couple of people are having issues trying to figure out how to install it. So basically what you do is you head over to Ponyscape Vectors, ponyscape-vectors.deviantart.com and you can download the latest down here in the Ponyscape info tab. And so I'm going to go ahead and download Ponyscape 0.4 patched and I'm going to select the Windows package. Uh, this directs you to a Mediafire site. Um, I use Mediafire because it's uh, there's a lot of space for a free account. Um, but if for some reason you have issues with Mediafire, like if it's not working or anything, um, you can let me know and I'll upload a copy to my Dropbox. Um, of the most latest version. And so that's downloading. What you need to do also is you need to get 7-zip, which if you do a search for 7-zip, is the first search that comes up. 7-zip is a free program that uh, basically will allow you to compress files and extract files from a lot of different formats. Uh, so this includes like zip files, um, gzip files, tar files, uh, etc. The zip format that Windows can open by default is really outdated and is not good at compressing files, which is why I don't use it in Ponyscape. <laughs> um, because if I did use it, the file size would be pretty much twice as large as it is now. Um, and in order to help people get quick downloads and uh, to kind of save space on my Mediafire account, I use the 7-zip standard, which is a lot better at compression. So you download this, the MSI or the EXE, depending on what version of Windows you have, run that installer and it'll install 7-zip for you. And my download is almost done, so I'm just going to wait for it. There we go. So now I'm going to go ahead and open that up. Uh, downloads. I have a lot of downloads in here. <laughs> um, yeah, let me just do a search. Pony escape. Uh, of course, it, it wouldn't. Here we go. Pony escape 0.4 patch that 7 zip. I'm actually going to go ahead and copy this out into a new folder um, just to make it a little bit easier so you guys can see. Okay, so I have this .7z file, which is a 7-zip package. So once you have 7-zip installed, um, if you right-click on a .7z file, you get this menu, which says 7-zip. And all you have to do is click extract to Ponyscape underscore whatever version it is. And that'll pop up this window. It'll uncompress it and basically pull everything out of the package. Which will take a little bit of time. <laughs> and then you can go into this folder, the Ponyscape 0 0.4 patched. Go into Ponyscape and then run ponyscape.exe. And there you go. You now are running Ponyscape. Um, so you don't have to install Ponyscape, um, which is kind of nice because you could put it on a flash drive. For instance, if you want to use it at school or work or wherever else, um, you could put it on a flash drive and it'll work there. Um, you can also, you can put it into your program files on your computer uh, if you really want to. So you just create a folder in here called Ponyscape. You need to be an admin to do that on Windows 7 and I think Windows 8 as well. Um, but that should work if you, if you really want to do that. Um, if you want to open up SVG files by default in Ponyscape, uh, basically, you have to find an SVG file, right-click on it, 
point to open with and say choose default program. Then you go to this browse button down here and you basically find where you extracted it to. So for instance here for me, I down, went with downloads, new folder, Emscape patched, Emscape.exe. Open and it'll pop up with your the new Ponyscape. It'll say Inkscape um, because I haven't changed the, the internal designation name or whatever. Um, but that might change in version 0 0.5. Uh, you can check to say always use the selected program to use to open this kind of file, um, which will open it in default. Or you can not select that um, if you just want to open it in Ponyscape once. And then you click OK. And I'm not going to do that because I have it tied into my uh, latest build of Ponyscape. But click OK, it'll open it up. And then every time you double click on an SVG file, it'll open up in Ponyscape after that. So I hope this tutorial helps some of you guys that are having issues. Um, and if you guys have any other issues or questions or whatever, feel free to ask. Um, you can send any of the admins notes, or you can send the Ponyscape Vectors group a note. Um, or you can just leave a comment on our page, which would be awesome. We'd love to hear your feedback. And if anyone for a different system, like uh, Mac OS or Linux or whatever, wants one of these installation videos done, just just let me know and I'll do that. Um, it should be self-explanatory though, hopefully. <laughs> um, so yeah, and I will probably be doing some more tutorials like this in the future. So stay tuned. Thanks.